<sighs> All right. So let's see. Uh, the last time I played, I did a few things off stream. Basically, you know, gather a bunch of materials that I needed for my side quests. Uh, which let's see. Look at it. What did I do actually? I did like. Oh yeah, I, the, the, I mean the biggest thing is like I got a bunch of wheat, you know, from the garden. You know, as it turns out, the little garden mini game, it's sort of real time actually. You know, once you plant the seeds and everything, you actually have to open up the game the next day in real life, you know, because it actually uh, reads your system clock and everything. And so you gotta harvest the, the plants before they um, get, uh, I guess they before they wither away, you know. So that's important. Uh, I got a bunch of fish as well. I did not off stream, you know. Not that interesting. I mean, it's just more fishing. You just fish at the beach uh, with, uh, um, I'll say earthworms? No, lugworms. Very specific type of bait for like seawater fish, I guess. Uh, there's a new merchant in town. I got a bunch of wool, a bunch of go uh, goat hide. It's kind of annoying to be honest, you know, because you gotta kill a bunch of goats and they don't always drop goat hide, but that's what I did. Uh, I also need to get natural rubber. That's also like, I don't know where you get that exactly. I think I got that once, you know, somewhere, but I don't remember where. But I think you can buy that in the shop, so I'll buy that well, real soon actually. So signature disc or dish, a bunch of wheat and sardines as well. Look at that. As it turns out, when I put out those wheat seeds last time, when I harvest them, there was there was actually a lot of wheat. You know, in fact, I have a surplus of like a, a lot of, uh, of like plants and everything. And I guess you could sell them to the item shops to get a lot of money. And that's why I did a little bit, I guess. Now, what do I want to do? Oh, okay, I wanted to buy natural rubber. I think. Where would you buy it? This is an item shop. Mm, well, this is more so like potions, I guess. I would like to buy uh, health cells because you know, they're pretty good, but at the same time they're pretty expensive. So I don't know if I should buy them. I'm not sure. I like to save my money to buy the, the sword first, though. You know, the big sword I wanted to buy. I think I have enough at this point in time. Brochure? Mm, you don't sell the the thing. You sell seeds though, and you can you know you can put that in your garden and everything. I think it takes about twenty four hours or something. You know, last time actually off screen, yesterday I put in like pumpkin seeds actually. So maybe it'll be ready today. I don't know. Or maybe it'll be a little longer. Mm. I swear there's natural rubber you can buy here. Is it yeah. you? Yeah, you're the material shopkeeper. Natural rubber, yeah. 700 G, a little expensive, but it's hard to gather on your own. I would, I would rather gather up on my own, but it's like RNG base, I think, and also I, I don't really remember where you get it. Go to 1,100. Well, the reward for the side quest better be worth it, you know. I guess I'll buy it. Five natural rubbers. Okay, and I think I basically completed all my side quests. I just, have, I just have to hand it in. Or I mean, hand them in. Let's see, this old man wanted me to catch 10 sardines. I don't know if you can hand it, like, like hand the sardines to him or just show that, hey, I've got 10 sardines now. I don't know, give me better fishing skill or something. It seems like there's no like fishing levels or anything. You don't like level them up by fishing. Like maybe you do the side quest and get better fishing. I don't know. Uh, hey, old man, I got the fish you wanted. So you did. So you did. Well then, uh, here's a piece of advice for you. He's teaching me, I guess, the ways of the fish. Two days later, Yona's disease, you know. It's funny how we do just doing a bunch of errands, and Yona's disease just keeps getting worse and worse, but don't worry about it. <laughs> well, have your fishing fortunes improved? Yes, but anyone could get better if they did nothing but fish for two days in a row. We just, I guess, fish two days. Yeah, yeah fishing is getting uh, seems like there's another one. Is it more fishing? Mm. Hello again, my disciple. I have another fishing assignment for you. Wait, since when did I become your disciple? Okay. Fishing Fisherman's Gambit Part 2. You're so insistent. It really is too much. Well, your next task is to catch seven blowfish. If you can do that, I'll part with another of my invaluable lessons. Blowfish? I don't know where we get blowfish from. I tried fishing in other parts of the, the world, but I... I didn't know why. Wow, I didn't know where you get blowfish though. 
I love the game program. This game is amazing. Uh, I mean, yeah, so, I mean, so far. I mean, that's what I've heard anyway. I haven't beat the game yet, so I don't really have my final judgments on it, I guess. But I did play the sequel, Nier Automata. Uh, the main reason I'm going back and playing Nier Replicant, Japanese version in particular, I guess, because I like the Japanese voice acting, uh, is because, you know, I heard that Yokotaro does interesting games, I guess. I'm playing this one. Right now, I'm just finishing up my side quests. Let's see. There's also the merchant robot here that wanted uh, a bunch of materials to like open up a new shop, I guess. Is it you? Managed to get every single item. Your timing is um, what's the word? Impeccable. Yeah, because because they're uh, they're just about to launch the trading vessel. As soon as your cargo is on the ship, I can pay you. If you want to help load it, I can throw in a little extra. Okay. <laughs> we we get the items and also put it on the ship. This is a mess. Yeah, they're loading cargo from all sorts of traders into this ship. It's kind of like, um, you know, egalitarian. <laughs> egalitarianism? I don't know how to say that word. Egalitarianism. As in, you know, everyone's equal. Um, game program, how do I play this game in English? Yeah, well, I explained it in my, when I first streamed this game, but basically, um, uh, you get the original copy of the game, whatever. You, you have to play an emulator, you know? and everything, kind of a gray area, but you know, it's a 10 year old game, I don't know if anyone cares, but you do have to play an emulator and everything, so that you can apply the patch, which is the English translation, and the way I, the way I found it was uh, on a blog called um, Turn-Based Turnip, I believe, I think that's where you find it, you, should, you could Google, uh, Google it, and there's like a localization, uh, localization patch you could like use, and everything. Uh, and that's what basically because the original translation patch was basically they just copy and pasted it from the uh, from Nier Gestalt, which is the English version and everything. But the localization patch helps you know uh, edit a few things to make it more seamless, I guess, more consistent. Because the main characters, you know, if you know about Nier Gestalt and Nier Replicant, you know, the main characters are a little bit different, so that's why. Yeah. Uh, yes. Anyway, let's get this organized. If you carry the cargo to the front of the ship. The crew can bring it inside for us. So just carry it over there then. Uh, if I may. Yeah, this is voice. Also, oh, is my volume correct? Let me double check my volume. So, you know, there's one stream I remember playing Nier Automata actually, in particular, where my volume was uh, wrong, you know, it was out of whack. I don't think it's the right way. My volume should be good. Seems like we help like helping people. Oh, yeah, we just you know we just do that. We don't have to do it ourselves as a player. Okay, all done. You're fantastic. Now we just have to wait for the ship to leave. You mind if I pay you after the trade is complete? I can give you more money that way. And then everything will be, you know, awesome. That's not the word I was expecting you to say, but sure, I can wait. I don't mind at all. Good luck with the trade. Okay. Uh, we don't get nothing yet until he finishes. Well, she can't come soon enough. I wasn't sure what he... I forget what, like, um, when we first interacted with him. Did he, like, want to... Because I thought he wanted to make a shop here. Maybe he wanted to go somewhere else and then come back. Like more money, I guess. I guess that's how it works. Mm -hmm. Let's see, anything else to do? Uh... Pressing the wrong button. Yeah, but blowfish. Didn't say where you get blowfish though. I'll do that later, maybe. Let's see, we invested in, got a bunch of that. Merchant in town, gave everything he wanted. Delivered the goods. Now he'll build a trading business later, I guess. And let's see. Oh yeah, the tavern keeper wanted a special dish. Got the materials for that. I guess I'll do that. 
real quick. Might as well do all the side quests. Because again, I've heard that uh, apparently all the side quests is you can't do them, you know, later on. And they're, I mean, they're not super interesting, but I think, you know, I don't want to like miss them, you know, I don't know. I found your ingredients. Sorry it took a while. Oh, those fishermen are going to be appreciative. Let me give you your payment. Hey, 5,000 gold. That gives you rewards, I guess, which is good. You want some dinner before you go? It's on the house. Well, thanks, but I'm in a bit of a hurry. Maybe next time. Hmm. Anything else? Excuse me, but can I get your help? Another one? Another quest? What's wrong? I need to come up with some new dishes, but just flat out ideas. If you run into anything interesting during your journeys, please let me know. Hmm. Bon appetit. Well, I'm not much of a cook, but if I find anything, I'll let you know. Well, thanks much. I have no idea where to get the recipe ideas. Maybe we can find a cookbook in the library. Hmm. Okay. Do that too. I guess it's on the way. I'm not going to focus too much on the side quests, at least not on stream. So, you know, if it's on the way, I'll do it. But for the most part, if it's something that's required grinding or whatever, I'll, I'll probably do more of that off stream, maybe. I don't know, especially the fishing. I don't know where you do. But we'll see. I'll probably look it up, maybe. Later. Let's see. Uh, yeah. There's only the, the quest where you, uh, with Yona, I believe. Where she's trying to make stew. Here's a boar. And here's Kane. Kane will have to catch up with her Naruto run. I mean, she. I remember in the cutscene, she can, like, jump very high distances. You know, very long distances in particular. So, I mean... He doesn't need our help to get around the world, I guess. She doesn't need to like ride in the backseat of his boar. Wee. Yona. Yona. I know you're sick and all, and you're basically dying, but um, you know, cook me some stew while we're here. We haven't eaten in many days. I, never, I don't think I've ever seen Nier, the main character, ever really eat. They're starving, I guess. Also, wonder if there's the, the pumpkins that I planted. You know, off screen. Are they ready? Are they ripe? To harvest them. I'll probably sell them for a bit of cash. Are they ready? Hmm. These are. Oh, there's a bell pepper. Oh, yeah, I put bell peppers as well. Well, they're all ready. Bell peppers, yay. Probably sell these for a pretty penny. I don't know, well, I don't know. Maybe later on we'll need to like, plant something and make a certain plant grow, maybe, in another side quest. They did mention Lunar Tears, for example. I wonder if we can like, grow Lunar Tears. Uh, I don't know if that's a thing. I know Kane knows, maybe, how to get, like, Lunar Tears. I saw in her house, there was, like, a... Wasn't it, like, a little, like, uh... What do you call it? Like, a ring, I guess, of Lunar Tears, I think. Pumpkin. There's only one pumpkin. Even though, like, I'm harvesting, like, it seems like there's three pumpkins, but actually, you only get one. What a ripoff. Does the main character accidentally just break two of the pumpkins that he tries to harvest or something? Or maybe he just fuses them. They become one big pumpkin. I don't know, I don't know how that works. Chickens. So we have a chicken. Do we have like a chicken coop? Or the, I mean, normally if you have chickens, you know, you have a chicken coop. Where they would like lay eggs. But uh, these chickens are just hanging out in my backyard for some reason. They're just here. For no reason. It's re yeah, they just really like it here. Get these pumpkins. Get these pumpkins. I want to plant something while I'm here. I don't have a lot. I'll do that. You know, I'll do that later. I'll do that later. For now. Fiona, let's make stew. And also, I have a bunch of pumpkins. You want to use it for anything? Make pumpkin pie. Hmm. I 
can always get items there. I, guess I'm there. I wonder. If, well, I don't know. I don't. I wonder if it's random or do you like, like these items you get in the shelves? Do they like unlock by doing stuff, like doing side quests, or is it just RNG? You know, like gathering random drops in the world. Because it's funny how you just get money. You just get free money. I, I, I would like free money. Just wake up in the morning and just get free money on the shelves. Anyway, uh, y'all know I got your ingredients. Oh, thank you so much, brother. Hold out now, start cooking right away. Oh, Yona. Uh, remind her not to simmer for too long. Remind her to cut the meat into small pieces. I mean, those are both good advice. Probably you should say both. But... Mm, well, I mean, I think it's more important it doesn't simmer for too long. And again, well, if the meat is too big, then it'll probably be a little bit raw, you know, in the middle. It's probably not very good for your health, you know? I don't know. But if you burn it, you know, that's also not great for your health. I don't know. Say, we'll simmer for too long. Yeah, I'll be careful. I think the implication is that she's really bad at cooking. You know, the anime trope where the the waifu is just bad at cooking. Uh -huh. There's definitely meat in here, but it's too big to get in my mouth. Okay, this. Rather eat, eat. Uh huh. I'm meeting it. I need to go and have a lay down after this. Okay. Well, if the meat is too big, and then you know, just like bite into it yourself, I guess. Cut up yourself uh, while you're eating it, maybe. Unless it's very big. Like if it's like it, you know, maybe it's taking up the entire bowl. That'd be hard to eat, I guess. Uh, hey brother, could you get something for me? Another something else? Okay. Yona's gift. What do you want me to get? I want a melon, oh. Do I have a melon? Melon. Did I grow a melon? I don't remember if I grew a melon or not. I don't think I did. Well, I gotta get melon seeds in that case. I guess this is part of the whole gardening thing. So I guess it's like quite intertwined with her whole quest. Let's see. Yeah, I don't have a melon. I gotta get melon seeds in that case. Oh. Time to buy melon seeds. Do, do, do. Have a bunch of pumpkins though. Are you sure you don't want to make? Oh, you don't. You don't. You don't want a pumpkin instead. Come on. Do, do, do. Let's, see. Let's go to the library as well. <laughs> I want to hear more of a. I want to hear more of a Devalua song. You know, the Volvo and Popula. I guess she hangs on the tavern though. Gotta go to the tavern when I hear her sing. Let's see. Actually, do I need a... Where would I find a book? You know? Or like a specific book that I need. Uh, do I just find it on the shelves or do I need to ask someone? You know, probably to ask the librarian. Maybe. A little popular. You know where I'll find a recipe book? No. Okay. That's just general advice. Hmm. Where do I find a recipe book? Maybe I ask her? And she's the assistant librarian. Normally you would ask like a librarian, but nope. Anyone has weird I don't know. I mean, she's wearing, particularly, she's wearing, like, I don't know what you call it. What do you call it? Assless chaps? <laughs> I don't know, something like that. Maybe not. Like cowboy, you know, cowboy pants. Why isn't one a cowboy? Or cowgirl, I guess, for her. Oh, right here. Uh, wait, is this a book of recipes? Most of these seem to require rather exotic species of fish. Ah, uh, more fishing? Yeah, I haven't heard, I even heard of some of these. Maybe the tavern chef have a better idea. Okay, got a cookbook. So, tavern chef? Do I just give it to... I give it back to the seafront, you know, tavern chef? Or do I give it... Or can I give it to the tavern we have here? Oh, bon appetit. Deliver it to the client. Okay, I'll just give it to the, the person. Okay, see. Well, if I ever, ever head back there... I guess that's the thing I should do while I'm on the way. 
now though, let's see. Let me just visit the market one more time. I do want to like start doing the main quest now and everything. I don't want to like uh, dawdle. I guess is that the right word? I don't know. I don't know. That's not. Right. I don't want to meander too long. I'll do something interesting now. Let me go to the blacksmith, and I think I have enough money to buy the big sword, right? Or the expensive sword. Beast Bane. I think, well, it says here, beastly motif, a short, thin blade. Okay. Because I was thinking that maybe does it have something to do with the other... There's another sword in Nier Automata. It's probably in this game as well. I f in fact, I think it's in the, the the cover art. There's like a big sword, you know, and everything. But this, I don't think this one is, is that. This one is a short, thin blade. It's not the big blade. Just, I guess it's buy it. I assume, yeah, it has better attack power, better magic power. I think? Let's see. Let me just... Oh, I don't know. Yeah, that was The Leaf Sword, Nameless Blade, Moonrise. Oh, oh yeah, okay, this one's the dagger. Definitely. It's just, it's just short, thin blade. I mean, it's short, but I don't think it's thin. It's still pretty thick to me. I mean, I bet it has better stats and everything. Heavy, however, here. apparently he's heavy. Doesn't change my. Uh... Maybe it does. Maybe a little bit. Looks pretty similar though. The combo. I guess we slam our weapon, which is something a little bit different. Yeah. Also fire, I guess. And let me. Uh... Well, let me add the the words. I guess what do you call them the words. Add the words. Make it more powerful. I mean, typically you put, uh, I guess, maybe, uh, uh, I mean, he's very small, but every, every bit counts, I guess. For poison or paralyze? I think I got a few new words, actually. I just went around the world killing a bunch of stuff, you know, off screen. I think I got a few new words, but I don't think they're really all that significant. Hmm, I think paralyze is good. I think paralyze, I mean, I assume it just, it just stuns them. It's just, I'd rather use that. I guess. And let's just go. Hmm. No, we, uh, we need to go to a uh, facade, I believe. There's a facade. I don't know how to pronounce it. Maybe they pronounce it differently in Japanese. I don't know, I'm not sure how they exactly they pronounce it. Because it looks like, you know, facade, except it doesn't have the little C symbol, you know? Little, I don't know what you call it, but this little squiggly line, you know? Often indicates that the, the C is a soft, or rather not soft, but like uh, like a, it's actually a S sound, you know, despite it being a C. I don't know. <laughs> lizards, a bunch of lizard tails. Off screen, actually, I went here in particular and murdered a bunch of goat. You know, it seems like all goats always spawn here and everything. So I went here a lot of times, respawned the area, and came back, you know, a million times to get all the goat hides. Took a while. In the process, you know, you get, you get a bunch of lizard tails as well. I don't know if you need lizard tails for anything else. But I might as well. You know, might as well. Let's see. I might as well gather materials. Oh yeah, I don't have any medicinal herbs. Yeah, because I, I gave it to the other person. Hopefully I can find some, some medicinal herbs from the ground here, maybe, no? Just berries. Can't eat berries to recover health. We got some water here. Well, I might as well try one, maybe. Whenever I use the lore, it always seems so hard. But maybe if because I have a bad fishing skill now, maybe it's more likely that I'll get something? I'll try to like maybe catch one fish just to see what fish is available here, just so I know for the future. So the way it works with fishing, as I've learned, you know, when it's always almost like three tugs. Okay, this one's pretty hard. I don't think I can catch it. Yeah, it's way too hard. I was gonna say, you know, fishes cause drive ambition. No, it, I think it's just fishing skill. I'm trying to lure. Maybe get a different fish here. Use a lure. Often when I use the lure anywhere else except the beach, it's always very hard to get fish. Okay, 
Okay, no, no, this one is way too hard. I have to come back later. But yeah, often it's like, well, it's not always three tugs, but it's always like, there's always like a little tug and there's always a big tug. And, uh, it's actually, I feel like more efficient just to press the analog stick, the left analog stick, just press it back when there's like a big tug. And often, you know, if there's like two little tugs, there's always a third big tug. That's when you know, guaranteed that you can like try to get a fish. Anyway, that, that's far too hard though. That's, those are some strong fish, I guess. So there's probably like multiple types of fishes. So, I'm not entirely sure if that's the only, you know, fish I can get there. That's too hard. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna worry about it too much. So, let's, let's actually do the story. <laughs> Instead of doing a bunch of side quests, let's do the actual story for once. Mm -hmm. It seems like going to like a, a desert area. I assume it's this way, right? Yeah, that's what I, was I mean, they even caught it out. Like, why are you in your weird... I mean, I don't think... I mean, I guess it's underwear. A little butt. I mean, the biggest thing is her nightgown. Call it a nightgown. I don't know if you call it exactly. But, you know. Basically in her underwear. I guess. They even say that. Like, why is she wearing her underwear? Is there some lore reason? Or is it, again, a Yoko Taro answer? He just, he just wants a sexy girl in his game. I imagine that's what he would say. Same reason as 2B, I guess, in your Automata. I was wondering about that, actually. You know, it's funny, I said before, like, whether or not, like, did he say that because there's a lore reason why, like, 2B is, like, a sexy android? Or is it just, you know, that's just his final answer. It's just, he just likes a sexy girl in his game. I think that's it, actually. There's no deeper reason, as far as I know. Anyway, it's a fountain. Weird. That doesn't really look like a fountain to me. More like a building? Case lore. Hello, uh, Arabi. Arabi. Well, is this a puzzle of some sort? Or can we just go in? I don't know. Oh, there's wolves. Uh, no wolves there. Or rather, no wolves behind us. You know, normally when wolves attack you, they circle you around. Jump behind us. Oh, yeah, there's also this move. I think I got that. I got this move last time, actually. I didn't try it all until now, I guess, on, on stream. But, uh,. Or rather, I, mean, I didn't try it on the stream until now, I guess. But I did try it off screen, as it turns out, because I thought it was decoy or whatever. You know, I, was, I thought it was like a decoy, uh... Ow. Oh, these wolves, they hurt. Or they attack fast, anyway. Let's shoot them as well. I thought the, the that, that attack was... I said like decoy or something, the way it described it. I thought it was going to be like summoning a decoy body thing so that it distracts the enemies. But actually, it's more like a, a weird, like... You send your spear thing to attack enemies or whatever. It seems like a good AoE skill, actually. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Bang. I thought I killed more. Did the other bodies despawn as I killed the other ones? I guess so. Yeah. Over here? Examine. Out of service. Can't use it, I guess. Hmm. Maybe we'll do something like that later. Also, I see some sparklings across the, the valley here. I don't think I can get it. Maybe I can? Do like a long jump, maybe. Maybe like jump and roll. Probably just fall down, though. Uh, I also need healing. I, I guess I should have bought some healing. Items. Hopefully, we'll survive without healing. Oh, what's going on? Scorpions! Now I'm poisoned as well. Probably gonna die. <laughs> Nanny? I shoot you? Oh, fishing tip 2. Amazing. You're killing. Wakata. Sasori. Ow. If I could like jump or roll. Because I see on the minimap actually. The scorpions. Those scorpion things. Let's all see. I guess I see dust. Eh. Can I roll? I want to roll and, you know, bait it. Oh, there. 
I guess I tried to attack Kane. I'm being poisoned to death, though. Uh, I guess I have antidote there. No health, though. This sucks. Maybe I should go back to town and buy some medicinal herbs. Should probably buy some medicinal herbs. I was hoping like just you know grab some off the ground, but I guess not. So there's this like weird stuff here. I don't know what this is. More puzzles, I guess. This probably is auto service as well. Yep. go desert. Don't have a map either. I don't know where I'm going exactly. I guess what well, is a big X? I guess follow that. Well. Uh... Uh, but if I follow the X, then it's gonna be probably gonna be a boss fight, maybe. I don't know. I'd like to reach a town, maybe. Oh, those are, I think I see buildings over there, so maybe that's the town right there. I think it's facade, right? That's what Kane mentioned, anyway. Did they get like a weird cutscene though? Of like, I think I saw like a, a monster wolf, you know, like a shade wolf or something. You said like they went away, I guess. I guess I'll go here now. I wonder, is it a town or is it... Or is there people? I don't see people. Hello, people. Hello. He's waving. Another town, yeah. Very industrious. Seems like. Stroll? I do want to go to a safe point. Uh, out of a beat. There's a reason Kane's dressing so lightly. Yeah, I've heard about, you know, I guess, her gender or whatever. But that doesn't really explain that? I don't know. We'll see, I guess. I, ra I rather... Well, I don't know. There's actually a lot of, like, uh... As far as I know, because Yoko Taro is weird, I guess, but like, there's a lot of like uh, outside lore, I guess, that just like, it's just not in game, you know? For example, actually, I, I've learned that apparently the weapon stories, for example, that uh, was available in Nier Automata isn't available in this game, actually. You know, the stories about the weapons and everything, they're actually available outside the game. And you're like searching for it on your own, I guess, and like, I think, I believe like concept books or something? I don't know. ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがと
奥にある巨大な建物が王の館であろうでどうやって行けばいいんだろう頑張ってルートを探すしかないようだな Will power and smarts I don't know I don't know Nier is very smart though We don't have like a intelligence build We're more like a fighter Mr. Book Hmm. Oh, interesting. When they were talking before in the cutscene, you know, at least in the Japanese version, it seems they are using Japanese, uh, I guess, syllables. You know, they're using they're using Japanese sounds, but they're in like a weird, you know, weird nonsensical order, I guess, which is the point. You know, they're speaking in a weird language, despite using the same sounds. You know, I guess is the idea. Okay, I can't. I assume this is a kind of shop. I would like to buy medicinal herbs, but I can't buy any because、uh, they can't speak my language. I guess I can't speak their language really.、Mm. Also, now that yeah, there's a bunch of sand in this village. They're using the sand as like a, a weird water mill, I guess. You know, it's like hydro power except sand, so it's kind of like sand power. Sand powered village. Amazing. Can you can you do that in real life? You know, can you harness the power of sand the same way you harness like water? You know, like you harness the currents of the water to like spin a wheel that creates energy and everything. Can you do that with sand? I don't, know. I don't think I've seen that in real life. So I, I don't know how possible this is. Whatever. I mean, it's fantasy.、I、don't have to worry about it too much. Easy, Aichi. I, well, I wonder actually. Maybe we do get to learn, you know, the language later through some magical means. Maybe, maybe we just you know, take a you know a one oh one oh one course. How to speak their language, real quick. Shiro, more to 頑張ってよ無理だな。我は体操価値のある優秀な書物であるが、辞書ではない。Can the book read? You know, I mean, I assume the book is very old, right? Read more wise. I assume. Yeah, you know, they're right here. But I was gonna say, you know, I was wondering if、uh, Wise, being so old, can he like?、Uh, Doesn't he know these languages? Maybe. I don't know. Has he ever seen these languages?、Oh. Jump in the sand. Whoops. I guess that, well, that's what happens when you jump in the sand. You just die.、Uh, oh, now I'm all, I'm all the way up here now. Wrong way to go.、Uh, let's go this way. I guess you guys also maybe ride the、uh, the weird sand cart as well, sand boat, where you need to go as well. That's also an option. Yeah, let's make our way back. Yeah, Weiss is really old. I assume. <laughs> Why did I fall in the sand again? I assume because he said before that he was really old. I think he said like a he mentioned like a specific amount. I think I don't even remember though. I mean, obviously, also his voice is really old. And that's the idea. He's like an old cranky grandpa. Mm. Mm. Wee!、Oh, I heard something. Are they just giggling? I thought someone's crying, but no, they're just they're just having a casual conversation. I think. I think, or、mm. or is that or is that something else? I hear something. Is that breathing? Maybe not. I keep hearing it. Why is that? Anyway, this should be the the king's manor, I guess. Can I say something? Can I do? You know, if you don't know the language of another, like usually when you're visiting another country and you don't know their language, usually it's、uh, good to know like body language, you know, as well. Can I just do some, you know, weird hand signs? Maybe just to show. Do I want to go in or something? Just point at it. Hmm. I guess I'll just walk back. I was only taking the atmosphere. 
But I guess we're supposed to go back. We can't go in. Or we have to ask Kane to help us. Another shop. They, try, they, they sell a lot of masks, I guess. We go this way. There's also like a bottom area as well. Turning sand power. How does that even work? What are those like? I mean, I guess it, yeah. Well, the gears obviously. So these windmills or sand mills or whatever turn those gears, and that turns other gears, and I guess those gears turn other things. I guess. I mean, in real life, you know those mills. I mean, they're used in, in grain mills actually, like turn grain into like fine material. I guess. Or, well, rather, turn wheat into grain, rather. But I assume they turn, they're using those mil that mill power to power something else? Mm. We'll help them. Can I also talk to them? Can I help them up? I'm trying to talk to them. Eh, eh, no, no option. I guess I'll just pick this up, I guess. Maybe magic. Just magic, I guess. I mean, there's magic in this world, I guess, as well. You know, it's kind of like, I don't know, I don't know what to call it, but it's kind of like steampunk, right? But I guess this is sand punk. So it's kind of like this weird mishmash of technology. But I guess there's also magic. It's just magic. Yeah, that's what I was saying. If you don't know the language, just do weird gestures, you know? That's how you... I mean, that's usually how, like, a tourist would, like, interact, I guess. With other people, if they don't know the language, just do weird gestures. Yes, of course, exactly. Nani, somehow you can like spell your name with that? I don't know, I, I, mean, I assume it's just sign language. It reminds me actually, you know. I mean, I guess it's obvious, but like, uh, you know, American Sign Language? You know, the typical like sign language we think of, at least in North America, I guess. Um, the, the sign language you learn in, obviously, North America is actually different in other parts of the country, you know? There's no, like, universal sign language, actually. Where you learn the sign language in a particular country is actually a different language of it, like, of its own, you know? And normally, at least when I think about, like, sign language, I, I think, like, it's just one language, right? But no, actually, it's not universal. Like, I mean, it makes sense, you know, because American Sign Language, it stands for ASL, American Sign Language, is actually only in American, so... ちょっとこの町に用があってきたんだけど、なんだか言葉も通じなくて。あなたたちをあんないあんないしてくれるのか。うん。Somehow she can understand us though. That's weird. でもその前。He's very slow, you know, getting all this information. Okay. Bow. Uh, hold on, I want to save. Wait, hold on. 
go the opposite way. Yeah, save here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, where, where are you? I was hoping she could like translate for us. Uh, where is she? Uh, this item shop, okay. All shops and houses in the city must abide by the following rule. Rule 106, do not live on level ground. Hmm. We have many rules. Yes, that's the rule. Okay. I mean, I played Nier Automata, so... Oh, there you go. I played Nier Automata and they did, they did reference this place before, so here you go. This is the place that I've only heard about, I guess. Where are you going? Escort mission. No, no. It was not really escort. More, more like following the NPC mission. This is a sand skiff dock. Rule... Where is, where is it? 115,000... Uh, 115,017, I guess. Or is it... Nah, that's not right. 115... That's not right. 1,015... I don't know. Whenever there's big, big numbers, I never know how to read them. How to say them. You must view the town by ship before purchasing any items. Oh, okay. I don't know. It's a rule that was in place when I first came here. Not a new one. Yes. I heard that we passed rule 124,046 earlier this morning. Or this month, rather. Not morning. A lot of rules, I guess. We. Okay. We must view the town from this perspective before we can purchase any items. Hmm. I, mean, I already got. I already got a pretty good look at the town. Yeah, the desert place. I mean, so I assume this is the same place. The desert. And when I look at the buildings, I was wondering, like, why was it so familiar? I was looking at these buildings and I was wondering to myself why it was so familiar. Now I know, actually. It makes sense. I now understand why I find these buildings so familiar. Hello? This is a grocery. Rule 11,034. You must live at a level appropriate to your position. Hmm. It's a hierarchy. Yes. Skip Frias Tor? No, I want to see more. <laughs> I want to see more. Is there more to see, or...? I guess this could be a no. I mean, I guess it gives you an option, you know, to not do this whole thing. I wonder when they did that, actually. When did in the... When, like, in when they're playtesting this game, I guess they felt the gamers, they got bored at this point, you know, and they give you an option to skip it, I guess. I mean, that's also like a thing in like a lot of video games as well, you know, there's this annoying thing where you gotta follow an NPC, I guess. In particular, they're always like a little bit slower than you, so you always have to wait for them and everything. That's always a thing in video games, I guess. I don't know. I, I might as well see more of the tour. Maybe she'll say something interesting about the world. Mm, these guys are spears. They all wear masks. You know, well, I mean, the girl, I mean, most people wear masks. They have this weird pyramid mask. Or, I guess not pyramid, like cone head mask, I guess. I mean, it reminds me of pyramid head. I guess some of the some other types have, like, smaller masks. Maybe the soldiers. Uh, bodyguards. I'm looking at this guy. Yeah, this guy has a, a smaller mask. I assume the soldiers have these kinds of masks, I guess.
this is a strange thing store. Strange thing. Oh, they sell, well, I mean, they sell signs and pipes and surfboards somehow. I don't know why surfboards are all the way here in the desert. A store that sells strange things. I don't know. The things are so strange, no one can show what they do. Well, I assume these are objects from the previous world, you know? The modern world before, like, it fell into, I guess, uh, to like an apocalyptic situation. I wonder if you can buy a pipe, actually. The iron pipe from the very beginning of the game. Remember, I remember this sword near Anamata. It was defined as like a... I guess it was just a sword. Definitely looks more like a dagger to me. Like a giant dagger. <laughs> That's like a thing in this game, I feel like. The giant dagger. So I guess you can also call it a... Uh, maybe it's kind of like a, a broadsword, sort of, you know? Very exaggerated, but... I guess in real life, there are like swords that are just pretty wide, you know? And they're used like in one hand and everything. Kind of like broadswords. I mean, they are broadswords. That's what they're called, I guess, generally. But definitely, you don't get swords this wide. Very, very wide. Hello? Okay. How about this place? Let's get the full tour. It sells raw material. Okay. Use this material to make masks. Rule 12, do not neglect your mask. Very early rule, I guess. If you want to live here, you have you must have a mask on at all times. So oh, I don't have a mask. But I guess we're just visiting. Uh, we're just a visitor. Oh, I can't buy anything though. So I guess, well, we have to do the whole tour first before we can buy anything, obviously. That's what she said. How does this thing work anyway? You can't see the bottom mechanism, you know? No, I think you can see. Oh, I can see a little bit. I can see pots, actually. I guess it's like a sled. Yeah, it's more like a sled than anything else. A weird sled thing. I don't know how you don't, like, fall off though. You know? This is very easily you could just fall off. You don't hold on to anything. I imagine it would be like a very bumpy ride, I don't know. Not even like a seat. And sit down. This is a weapon shop. Mm, another weapon shop. Yeah, I didn't. I don't know. Was there a weapon shop in Seafront? Maybe I missed it, but I didn't see another one. So this is the next one. Maybe you can buy even more. Uh, even you know, even more weapons. Well, this concludes your tour of the city. Thank you for your patience. I will now guide you to the king's manor. It's not so bad. Although I used to ask the same question, and as someone told me, rules do not exist to bind you. They exist so you may know your freedoms. When I look at it like that, they don't bother me. So still can't buy any stuff yet. I guess we still have to go to King Ma King's Manor first. Yeah, that's the tour of the town. See all the shops? Learn a, bunch, a few rules about the, the place here. I wonder if we can buy a mask, you know. You know, these guys have spears in there. I assume, well, I don't know, I was wondering, like, why do they have soldiers, actually? Like, is there some external threat they're trying to fight? I guess, I mean, there's shades. I forgot about the, you know, the supernatural monsters or we've been fighting this whole time. I guess there's that. I was wondering. 
I want to, you know, maybe they're at war with something, but it's probably the monsters. Probably the monsters. Maybe some wolves sometimes. This is the king's manor. However, we have no king now. Huh? Our king was stricken with a foul black illness and so passed away. His son, the prince, now rules this land. The Black Scroll. This is the prince's royal advisor. He would know far more about these things than I. Okay. Okay, I assume, I guess the wise is just translating, you know, real time now. He's our Google Translate. I'm afraid the prince is not taking outside visitors at present. I would appreciate it if you could come back another day. I'm sorry. No, we kind of reach a dead end now. Is it going back? I would like to buy some. <laughs> I said this in the beginning. I would like to buy some herbs, please. Probably gonna fight like a monster soon or something. I don't know. Well, if we do, I guess we'll just have to just not get hit, I guess. Just don't get hit. Not Bloom, by the way, in this game. I don't know if it's like a, you know... I don't know if it's an emulator thing, or is it just a normal game, but there's a lot of Bloom. Everything is just Bloomy. Oh, also, yeah, well, we heard the uh, dialogue there. Choose destination, okay. Oh, it's funny. She's stuck on the stairs, I don't know. Okay, so now we can just talk with everyone now. In this case. I should probably go in the, in the entrance. I would like to go to a shop though. Yeah, you go do that, uh, Pira. Let me go to a shop. What do you sell? Hey. As per rule 7545, I hereby engage in the training of general goods. There you go. Yes, I would like to buy all of the medicinal herbs. Thank you. Oh, desert map as well. Oh, yeah, I also need melon seeds, by the way. I guess I'll get a couple of those. One for like uh, Yolna and some to sell, I guess. And thank you to name the rules. Mm. Huh? Engine trading of weapons, yes. Oh, there's only one though. Hmm. Earthworm's Claw. It's a heavy weapon, better attack power. I could use all my money to buy it. Actually, can I sell some other stuff? I assume you can just sell anything you want in the shop. Which makes it convenient, I guess. Uh, let's see... Where's the... I have some pumpkins I want to sell. Actually. Some pumpkins. Did I miss it? Or... Well, I have a melon here. Didn't I? Well, didn't I mention I didn't have a melon? Or did I have a melon? I don't remember that. I think this is the pumpkins I had. We just sell like 10 of these, I guess. And to make some money. Oh yeah, a lot of bell peppers as well. I don't know if I need them later on, so I'll keep a few, I guess. Some beans. There's a lot of stuff I've been growing in my garden, I guess. And a lot of wheat. I guess I'll sell more. I think I had, like, I had like 60 wheat before. I kept a few just in case, but you know, maybe I guess I, don't, I didn't need all that much. I as weapon as well. Thank you, the name of the rules. Right. What does it look like? Oh, it looks like this. Eh. <laughs> it was kinda It's like I'm holding like a a meat on a stick or something, you know? It's kinda weird actually. Yeah. Uh, I guess it's better? It's a, it, apparently it's a very heavy weight. 
Doesn't feel very heavy though. Still the same combo for the most part. Mm. I use Beast Bane for now though. I just like Beast Bane a lot better. It looks better. Now. Anyway, I guess let's just save again. So even though all we did was just tour around the, the town. There you go. Yeah, yeah, right here. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Do you know Kane? I mean, are you the one that she saved? I guess. You know, I've learned that well, it seems like, I mean, just, just from the cutscenes we saw her before when she was like swearing a lot when we were fighting that boss. It seems like there's a bit of a, of a difference actually in the uh, English script and how it is in Japanese. You know, instead of saying like piss off book or whatever, because it seems like in English, you know, it's more obvious that she's just swearing at everyone. But in Japanese, you know, it's less so that she's actually swearing, I guess it's more like, you know, all she said was here was like, Urasai, as in just shut up, you know? But I guess, she, I know, I, I guess, I think I said it before, but um, the way she says things, you know, is very rude. Well, that's the idea. It's the same feeling, you know. It's not exactly wrong, I guess. In English. I mean, I remember in the cutscene, you know, in the Japanese version, her, like, swear words or whatever were bleeped out, you know? But I actually uh, went and saw a video of the same cutscene in English, and she just said the... She just sweared, you know? She, there's no bleeping or whatever. I don't know. I guess in the Japanese version, they just did it for a more comedic effect. Uh, hey, did you hear the news? The prince is missing. What? We're in violation of 83,348! Oh no. What's going on? The prince is gone, and according to rule 83,348, we have to start looking for him right away. No, you don't get it. The prince went missing in the Baron Temple. But rule 50,005 to 27 states that only nobility may enter the temple. Oh no, that means we can't go look for him. What about rule 83,348? Yes. What about rule 50,527? Mm. It's bureaucracy in action. You have no say in the matter. Yeah, sometimes the, yeah, the radio conversation, by the way, I think it was mentioned in the patch, but... Sometimes it gets gets cut off because in the English version, I guess, it's very long. But in Japanese, actually, probably much shorter. You know, when you have those little, like, dialogue things in the top left. Anyway, don't you? Mm, just mm, thinking about it. Mm. Can you make an exception, guys? No? Okay. Okay. Well... I guess the next thing we should do is save the prince, you know? They went to the Baron Temple, apparently. Are we ready to do so? Any side quests, actually? We can talk with these people now. So I was wondering if there like, any side quests we can do. A lot of people to talk to. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're the... aren't you the strange seller or whatever? Uh, strange thing seller. Huh? Uh. I have some trading strange and unusual games when I actually have someone. Oh, okay, you don't have any yet. Are you sure? I mean, I see these uh, these stuff here. But I guess they don't have anything to sell. Hello, zombie freak. Just lurking as usual, I guess. Let's see. Yeah. Studying quicksand for 10 years now. Oh, is this quicksand? Is that what it is? We're conducting research to see if we can use the flow of quicksand as a power source. This would be a great boon to your people. Or to our people, rather. Not your people. Apparently that ocean of sand contained water at some point, but now what land isn't swallowed by the ocean is slowly turning to sand. It's as if the human race is being shunned by its own home. Every year, there's at least one child who drowns in the quicksand. Well, that's too bad. 
Watching over the children, but all they do is pull pranks and call me names. I'm not sure I've cut out for this. Stop it, you're annoying the teacher. Come on, let's play. What about you? Come on, teach. What game are we gonna play? I got an argument with my wife. According to the rules, I have to make up with her before the day is over or we'll be divorced. Oh no. Hmm. I'm looking at mini map. I don't think there's any questions. As far as I know, it doesn't seem like it. Usually there's like a special marker. Oh, well, probably maybe talk to Devolva. But sometimes, uh, especially the postman one, there's a postman quest, I guess, that doesn't activate. No, I see one here. But I remember there was like one quest you couldn't activate yet until you talked to Devolva. But it really is probably better, more efficient, just talk to her first before finding any quests, but uh, there's this one person here. I'm here to impart problems, my traveler. What's wrong? My sister's birthday is coming up. I want to cook her something special. Another cooking one? Another cooking quest? The rule 8614 states that parents cannot purchase food for their children's birthday feast. Would you be hey, willing to help me out? Oh, I think I've heard of this rule before. That's weird. Can't purchase food for their children's birthday? Hey, sure. Item unknown. Yeah, I'll help, no problem. Thank you very much. I need you to bring me 10 round Sprite food objects. Huh? Round and Sprite. That's a big vague. I'm sorry, but Rule 27,229 states that when se sending someone on an errand, you cannot state the name of the item you want him to buy. Oh, come on. I'll deliver if I can find it. Whatever it is. <laughs> Such foolishness. Waiting for them to finish the conversation. I guess it's, it's watermelons? Is that what it is? I think it's watermelons. Striped and brown, you know? Let me look at the quest. Item unknown. Ten of them. Brown and striped. Hey. It seems like you have watermelons? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like ten of them. That's a lot of money. 8,000? I guess I could just grow them on my own as well. I could do that. But since we're here... Eh, why not? $8,000! Better be worth it. You better, you know, compensate me for this. For your birth- for your, like, kid's birthday. And spending literally $8,000 for goddamn watermelons. Also, how do I get back up? Um, I don't know how to get back up. How do I get back up? I just jump? Oh yeah, he's back. Where are you? Was it you? Are these the wamas you were looking for? Yes, that's it. Thank you so much. Good, I hope I can make something delicious for your sister. I'm sure this will make her very happy. Or was it sister? That was weird. Was it sis? Because didn't say, didn't say, you say daughter? I don't know, I'm confused. Was that trans- was that- well, I was wondering, was that a translation error as well? Because there are definitely, definitely a lot of like references to like daughter and like father that was changed to brother and sister but like sometimes I feel like the script accidentally changes it in this one so maybe that's a- that's a weird, you know, wrong thing as well. Change 900. I'm sure this will make her very happy, I know it isn't much. Please take a small award. Well, that was enough, I spent more than that. Well, at least I helped someone. Yeah. I hope that son of mine didn't buy the wrong thing again. If so, he broke the rule of 7,017, and that means rule of 4,217 for him. Do I know what rules mean? Well, it says you cannot make a mistake while running an errand. And the other rule says the parents must scold their children when they make a mistake. Okay. You have a son as well? I assume, wasn't it? Let me just read the quest thing again. So I'm wondering, maybe that was like a translation error. Item unknown. A woman wants to run the errand. Uh, she doesn't say specifically. I assume it was like a, a present for her daughter, right? Not a sister. I'll write that down, maybe in my mind, you know? Also another error as well. 
Any references to like brother and sister, and father and daughter, I guess. Sometimes, because I think in the, the original translation person, the, the guy who made the original translation, I think I said, uh, I think it's a Riku KH3. Actually, I think I said the first time I said it, I think I said KH3 Riku was the other way around. Riku KH3, or whatever. I assume that's a reference to Kingdom Hearts. Um, but the, the the person who made the original translation patch, what they did was like you know, copy and paste everything, and you know, change all the references to father, father and brother. But I feel like you know, there's some mistakes they made. You also think it was daughter? Yeah, I think it was daughter. For some reason they said sister. So I think yeah, that's another you know, that's another bug. Not really a bug, but you know. Translation error, I guess. And I wouldn't say, I mean, it's a little lazy, I guess, but I wouldn't say it's su like super lazy. I mean, they made the first patch in the first place, so, like, that's already a lot of work already to apply it, I guess. I don't know. Well, I guess it's just something to, like, maybe let the, the localization, you know, the person who made the localization patch, they should probably fix that, maybe? Mm. Well. Oh, hold on a moment, it seems the hussy is not moving. Oh, not the hussy. Let's move what you're saying. Hey, what's wrong? Hey. I'm gonna save the prince. Lida. No, we can't. Have you forgotten about rule 50,527? Oh, screw the rules, I have a mask. I have green hair. No, no. Impossible. We could never ask such a thing. Oh, she knows that ruling, eh? Goddamn, you know, good aligned characters. Why are they so good? Goody two shoes. Thank you. Having an outsider handle this violates no rules, but it seems very, still feels very wrong. Rescue the prince, but the rules must be obeyed. Hmm, that, that guy is still thinking about it, I guess. He's just undecided. Up, down to go. Kane's already ahead. The benefactor is our friend, therefore, friends of the benefactor are friends to us as well. This is a rule. Uh, what number of rule? He says it's a rule, but what, what, you know, you gotta have a citation for that. Where do they write these rules anyway? They just have in their hands or something? They have a lot of rules. Uh. Let me show you the way. You'll need my guidance to get through the sandstorm. Do 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 do. Can I talk to these guys? Can I talk to these guys? No? This seems like a... I guess I don't have an option. No. The immediate protector. Is that a thing we should do? It's gonna be an actual escort mission. I was saying it wasn't an escort mission, but now it is. I guess. Assuming like woes show up, show up or something. Go faster, little girl! Faster! Ah! Faster! It's very slow. Go see an item. I wanna grab. I wanna grab the item, but I, wanna, I don't. I don't wanna like abandon her. Otherwise, she might just get eaten by wolves. I don't know. Are you even going? This this way? So slow. I assume over here? Where's she going? Like over here? Somewhere here or I leave footprints. She doesn't leave footprints, however. I don't know how that works. 
or light on her feet, I guess. I will guide you to the desert. Please stay close to me. Okay, well, there's more. I guess, obviously, the actual desert itself. Or the storm. I think I saw this before, yeah. I wonder, do you need to remember this or something? Like, maybe if you try to go this storm before and everything, if you accidentally go the wrong way, you can, like, transport it back, maybe? Oh, whoa. What else? Oh no. Can you parry these walls? They attack really fast, so I don't know. I gotta stay close to her if you like. She has a mask. You don't have a mask. That's probably why. Wolves. Where wolves? Where wolves? Oh. Ow. I really want to parry these wolves. I don't know how they're though. Ow. It's happening really fast. Ah. Yeah. Stop it. How do I? Round of the arm. Oh, I might as well skin this wolf while I'm here. Just give me a wolf fan real quick. Just stop circling around me and attack me. Right, very deep into the desert, I guess. I was, I was gonna say, like, you know, I wonder if, like, if you follow this path in particular without her, maybe you can get through the desert, get through the desert safely, maybe? That, that'll be hard to remember, I imagine. Maybe not. I was saying, didn't I mention before, you know, these type of missions where you just follow an NPC the whole time? Where they're like slower than you, so it takes longer? They always do this in every video game. They, do they never understand that we don't, we, like, we, the, the players, don't like this? This the NPC is always slower than the character. Now, obviously, if they're faster, you know, you don't want that either because then you won't be able to follow them. Uh, how about they just don't have you know, this mechanic? Oh, fighting Woes tutorial? There's a tutorial of Fighting Woes in particular? Yeah, I jinxed it. I, I talked about it and then I jinxed it. Oh, we're not going there? I, I saw something over there. I guess not. We're not doing that. We're going somewhere else. Let me see, is there like a... I mean, is there a specific way to fight the wolves? I don't imagine there is, you just, you just hit them in the face with your weapon. If a wolf bites you, tap repeatedly. Oh, oh. I didn't know that, I guess. I mean, normally, like, in a modern video game, if that happens, you know, if, like, a, a wolf, like, grabs you or something, often there's, like, an on-screen prompt, you know, press square repeatedly, or you know, whatever. <laughs> Kinda of weird that they just say it in the tutorial instead of like when it happens, I guess. Let oh, me see something here. Baron Temple's just ahead. Okay, that's it. Yeah, I guess you'll stay here. Are you fine? Will you find? Will you be fine uh, by yourself? 
for you? I don't know. At least it's as far as I can go. Oh, thank you. We'll, we'll be okay from here. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, oh, on the map. Thank you. Okay. I mean, is that dangerous? You know? Will she be eaten by wolves? I don't know. Oh, well. I guess I'm not gonna worry about it. We're not gonna worry about it. We're just gonna go into the dungeon. Baron Temple. Yes. As Kane does her Naruto run. I can't look at I can't look at Kane and not think of Naruto running. She's always just doing a Naruto run. Forever. I'm gonna mention it like a thousand times. <laughs> 